Okay, hello everyone. All right, so let's talk about how to format integers. All right, so to format integers, we also need a format function. So I'm going to go ahead and type the format function. All right, so the format function takes in two arguments. The first is what you want to format, and the second is how you want it formatted in double quotations or single quotations. All right, so I'm going to type in what I want to format. Let's come up with an integer, for example, fi um, five. All right, all right, and I'm going to type a comma and then how I want it formatted in double quotations or single quotations. So for a float, we know we use, um, for, for the type designator or for the type we type in the letter F, we know if we want to format a floating point value, we use a letter, um, sorry, we use the percentage sign as, a, as the type designator. If you want to format an integer, you use the letter D, um, in double, sorry, in double quotations as a type designator. As to why they use a letter D, I don't know. <laughs> I'm yet to I'm yet to look up on. I think I read on it once and I I forgot I forgot what it said. But you use a letter D as a type designator. So let's um, again if we run this we, nothing is going to happen because the form we are just formatting five as an integer, okay? And for the formats function will return five formatted as an integer. So we need to actually print out what is being returned by the formats function. So I'm going to wrap the print function around this formats function. And then now let's see what five formatted as an integer. Well, five is an integer in itself. I just we want to I want to start off from a from the base so we can understand this well. So I run this program and it prints out five. All right. So let's let's try a, a different variation of this program. I'm going to store an integer in a variable. I'm going to call it number. So number is going to be equal to let's say the number three four three seven eight six. All right, it's an integer. All right. And then let's go ahead and format this number. Okay, now the number, the value stored in the variable number, to an, uh, as an integer. So let's go ahead and t uh, type in our format function. What we want to format is what's stored in number. We want it formatted as an integer, letter D. The format function is going to return whatever is stored in number as an integer. So we need a place to store it. So I'm going to type a variable, or sorry, create a variable. I'm going to call it formatted number. The formatted number is going to store whatever is stored in number formatted to an integer, right? So when we are done, let's print out what whatever is stored in the variable formatted number. So let's run this program and it prints out three four three four three seven eight six um, as an integer, or it's an integer by itself. All right. So one very important thing about integers when you're formatting them, you cannot use a, a, the precision when you are formatting integers, right? Because as soon as you do that, as soon as you try to format it to the small places, it changes from an integer to a float, right? So you cannot you cannot use a precision to format integers. If you try to do that, look at what happens. Let's try to format this, um, um, let's say, to, to, to the small places. So point two, run this program, and it says that over here, precision not allowed in integer format specifier. That's true, because we are dealing with integers here. So you, so you cannot specify precision when you are dealing with integers. However, you can add comma separators when you are dealing with integers. So let's format this integer. Let's format this, this number here as an integer, but then let's separate it automatically with commas. So I'm going to type in a comma right before the type designator, which is the letter D. We say comma before that, and it's going to automatically separate this value with commas. So it's going to do that automatically. We don't have to tell it where to do it. It's going to basically do that automatically. All right, so another thing we can do is we can format integers in a, a minimum field width, right? We can set a minimum field width of, let's say, 10, right? This is one, two, three, four, five, six characters, so, or six um, di uh, digits, right? So let's format this, uh, this number as an integer and display it in a space that is 10 spaces wide. So I run this program. So it's this value is being displayed in a space that is 10, 10 spaces wide. So um, when you count from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, it's displaying this number here. It's formatting this number as an integer and displaying it in a space that is 10 spaces wide. Uh, that is, uh, yeah, 10, 10 spaces wide. All right, so when that happens by default, the number is right justified that by default. It's always right, right justified. Now, I talked about this when I, when I did the video about minimum field width. So if I didn't explain it clearly, you've heard it here. All right, so another thing you can do is you can display this value in a field that, that is 10 spaces wide and separate it, separate it with commas, right? So like this. So 
the minimum the minimum uh, filled with comes before the comma separator before the type designator so we are displaying this integer formatted value in a spilled sorry, in a spilled <laughs> in a field that is 10 spaces wide separated with commas so let's run this we can see that that's what's happening now I, I mentioned this in the minimum field width video but now we are displaying this number here which is six digits in a space that's 10 um, you know 10 spaces wide right in a space yeah that's 10 spaces wide so what happens if you have a number that is more than the 10 spaces wide over here now we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven right let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven let's add some more we are displaying this number here how many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen we are displaying this number that is that has 14 digits in a space that is only 10 spaces wide when you are doing it when that happens this because this 10 spaces is less it can't it's too small for the 14 spaces it will automatically adjust it will automatically adjust that space when you run this you can see that it's automatically adjusting but when this is less than let's say the 10 spaces it will right justify it in that space so one two three four one two three four five spaces in a 10 in a field that's 10 spaces wide when you run it it's right justified automatically so starting from here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten characters now I talked about this in the minimum field width video but if you if I didn't explain it well or if, if you didn't if you didn't understand you've heard it here again all right so that's how to format integers okay using the format function all right if you have any questions please comments down below and I'll do everything to respond to them thank you very much for watching take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time with the next video all right then bye bye